today I'm reviewing the Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters. Now, this is the second book in the series. Um, those of you that know me well know that I absolutely adored uh, this series. Um, this is the second book. Uh, this is the one where, let me just read you off the back cover here. Um, it's not easy being a half-blood these days. Even a simple game of dodgeball can turn into a death match against an ugly gang of cannibal giants. And that's just the beginning. Now Camp Half-Blood is under attack, and unless I can get my hands on the Golden Fleece, the whole camp will be invaded by monsters. Big ones. Now, this is um, the second book, as I said, and there is the movie to go with this one. Though... Again, um, book, movie, not the same thing. Um, so um, if you did enjoy the movie, then you're probably going to enjoy the book even more. Um, if you have not uh, read or seen the movie yet, then read the book first because it is so much better. And um, although I did enjoy the movie, don't get me wrong, I did enjoy it. Um, but yeah. What can I tell you about this book? Well, we have uh, Percy again, who is obviously our protagonist. Um, and he is on a new quest um, to save Camp Half-Blood from being attacked. Now, in order to do this, he needs to find the Golden Fleece. Okay, now this Golden Fleece has magical properties. It has healing properties and things. And so um, the idea is that they get the golden fleece so that they can uh, put it on the tree, which will then help um, reinforce the protective barrier that protects Camp Half-Blood, okay, because the baddies are trying to get in. Um, now, in this, what can I say? Um, we still have the kind of love triangle, if you like, between Percy, Annabeth, and Luke um, because in this one Percy is starting to uh, sort of realize he has feelings for Annabeth and getting a bit jealous of Luke. Annabeth is starting to be very confused about uh, what she feels for everybody and Luke is generally just the bad guy again um, and oh yes and Grover. Grover is uh, it's just awesome. This is uh, the book I think which made me completely fall in love with the character of Grover. Um, so definitely worth checking out for that as well. There's a whole host of characters in this and various mythological creatures and things. So if you are into all that, I highly recommend that you read this book. Um, anyway, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're a Percy Jackson fan as well, then please let me know down in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.